continue our example on uh, long-term project appraisals using net present value and internal return. In this s demonstration, we're going to show how to consider the changing uh, of price level in, in our calculations. So when there is inflation in different uh, price and data here, for example, the sales price will increase by 5% a year. The material actually will increase a lot more. So there's dif different level inflation for different type of input and, and, and cash inflow uh, and outflow. So we to consider that, notice that our original setup is very useful because we, we use the first, this is the so-called uh, the real turn to, to our current pricing level. That is the real turn. And then we calculate the nominal term, which including the uh, price, the inflation effect. So today's 700,000 will become 735,000 in one year's time at that one year's uh, price level. So this is a nominal level and the real turn in the current price level will be only equal to 700. So all these are nominal turn now. So once we have all these nominal terms, because again, notice the structure I set it up so that they are relatively reference each other so that we can just copy and paste and they will reference to the right place, the fixed cost. We're taking the fixed cost inflation, so we have a nominal. Um, the scrap value, if they in the example and in the question, if they didn't tell you that what value is telling, uh, whether it's a real or nominal value, normally we assume it's a nominal value, which means that 50,000 at that point, uh, that price level during that period. So we don't need to do anything about it uh, to adjust for inflation because it already is in nominal term. Uh, once we have all this, we then have a net cash flow in nominal term. And notice that then we need to discount and discount it using this formula. But then normally the discount rate will change as well. So this 16.60% is a nominal uh, 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 cost of capital as well. It's not in real term. So you discount using the nominal uh, cost of capital, then you get this net present value, taking into consideration of the uh, inflation and same as the internal rate of return. Uh, if you just select this and it gives you the uh, internal rate of return is 17, 19%, uh, and this is a nominal uh, no rate of returns. Normally it's higher than than uh, the real turn. Okay. Uh, please go ahead and try the example to, and download the Excel spreadsheet and work it out yourself. If you have any questions, just email me.